Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the new Team Developer 6.3 Runtime Ribbon API to modify all aspects of a ribbon bar at application runtime. To demo this, let me run this sample application here. You see this uh, window here has a ribbon bar and I've prepared several buttons here that will allow me to modify the ribbon bar now. For example, I can create a new ribbon group by pressing on this button here. You see this group has been added. It has a, a title. Now I'm going to add a button to this group. And the nice thing about this is if you add controls that can be clicked at runtime, you will be able to react on that click and provide code that will be executed in case that object has been clicked. Now we can do things like delete an item from a ribbon bar. You can hide an entire rib, ribbon and show that ribbon. You can uh, toggle the size of controls. You can hide or show an entire group or hide and show a ribbon tab. The large items tab is gone now, as you can see. Or you can change the image of a um, rim button at runtime. And then you can also create an entire new ribbon tab here, which I did. That includes large buttons, small buttons, tray buttons, um, drop down combo boxes, data fields, and uh, radio buttons. So this has all been created at runtime. And again, clicking on any of these, um, you can execute your code. Now let me show you how that looks in the actual code. Click on the outline here, um, into the contents. That's where all the buttons are. So here's the push button that creates a group. And you see in the message actions that I'm actually adding a ribbon item with this function, style ribbon add item, passing the window handle, the uh, parent group, and all these I things here. This one here is the um, type of element that is going to be created um, and so forth. So pretty much this one called style ribbon add item is used for all the several um, things that you can do like create a ribbon group here or create a ribbon item, uh, ribbon button here. If you delete an item, You use this function, style ribbon delete item, and you provide the name of the um, ribbon item. Now, in message actions, you can see um, how to react on these. On some ribbon item click, and then you do a style number to h string with the l param, and then you query for this for the names of the um, of the ribbon controls, and then you can execute code if something is, has been clicked for that button. So, total control for your ribbon bars at runtime with Team Developer 6.3.
Thanks for watching this and check back soon. Thanks.